Hello again everyone, this is Michael, KE4EST. The other day in the mailbag I had one of these Nucleo boards. Um, in particular I've got the L476RG. I've got a couple of these different versions of these. Um, and you can use something like this here, the STM32 Cube MX to program it. And I'll just, look, let me show you, uh, if I load up a project here I was messing with. You can see how if you're a beginner and you've been using Arduino for a while, playing with the Uno and the Mega and whatever, and using Arduino IDE and that's what you're familiar with, you've not been programmed for years, you don't, it's like, ooh, kind of scary to go in and start setting this up, setting your pins up this way, doing all this, and then when you go into programming, um, you can see, you know, it's... It's a little more difficult, you know, which I recommend anybody do. Once you get familiar and you've programmed for a few months and you're, you know, really heavily into it and made a lot of programs and still really interested in Arduino and all that, you need to download and at least install, say, Atmel Studio. Research that, read that, and I may even do a video one day on how to set that up and get started programming with that and use that uh, and you can also start off with something like go and get uh, set up your Arduino IDE as you know set it say I want to use an external editor and get something like notepad plus plus start using that you know as an external editor to kind of you know slowly make that transition out of using the Arduino IDE the Arduino IDE is great for beginners it's fine um, but there's a lot more features and stuff when you move away from it and you can really see how much they really lock it down it's great like I said you start off from basic and you don't know anything about any of this stuff and you want to get into it and learn it that's fine you know they hide a lot of it and take a lot of the other stuff out but once you learn it you know you don't want to just keep yourself locked in that little box all the time you want to expand out but say you have been playing with Arduino for a little while and you're still not expanding out yet and you're still not sure what way to go so you want to uh, you know play with these boards so um, is there a way to do it so I looked it up and if you go now here's just a classic blink example straight up you know you know, file examples basics and blink um, they'll stay up there for a second you know blink right there it's not the blink without delay or anything just a basic even you know shows here LED built in now I've tried some other things before with Arduino IDE program some things and even stuff like this wouldn't exactly work you'd have to type in 13 here or whatever um, but let's I was experimenting with something earlier there let's put that back now here it is just straight up so what you'd have to do is you go up here you go to file and preferences and I've already got mine set up if you go down to additional boards manager I'll click there and if you type in this first one up here not the second one the second one is for something else another board I was messing around with but this very first one if you can I'll scroll it slow here so you can see it um, you see that type that in right there type it straight in right here or if you can uh, find it somewhere and copy and paste it or whatever but you can do that too but just type it straight in hit OK hit OK and then come back to tools and go to board I've already got it selected but ah, tools board go to the top boards manager and give it a second to download the platforms index and it just depends on your com internet speed and yada 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 but it'll give it a few seconds to load everything in but you of course you've got to already go into file and preferences and add that line first and then come down here and you'll see it and this one's at the bottom here I see mine's already installed I've got Nucleo different boards here you can use not all of them are not supported yet or that I've seen but if you go to that link, put that link in I said, and then come back here and you'll see it is right here. Nucleo L476RG. Um, under STM32 cores by ST Microelectronics. Okay. 
So you have to click on it, like mine's installed, but if you click on it, there'll be a thing to install here and install it and let it do it. Close out. And it won't be a, I think this will actually work without doing it. It's a good idea to go ahead and just close out your Arduino IDE and restart it. Let everything restart fresh. Kind of like if you've ever done libraries, installed manually installed a library, you'll know you need to restart it. This I don't think you have to, but it's a good idea to do so. And then if you go in here and if you look down, we got the board here. And there's this has got a built-in LED right here. Uh, this is kind of like your LED 13 or your LED built in that shows here and you could change take this out and of course change it to 13 but you see it right here on this board here and then if you go up here to tools I've got mine set up make sure you go all the way down select Nucleo 64 select the board now like I've got this one the Nucleo L476RG select ST link not mass storage because these actually can be used for mass storage devices uh, the built-in flash you can actually use it you know for storing programs or you can actually if you plug it in you sh you'll see it pop up and you can go in and uh, like store a, a file to it. it's not very much there's not very much <laughs> it's pretty small you couldn't uh, store a two-hour movie or anything on it like that but um, you could do that just experimenting around and, and for other programs and things it comes in handy um, but do that the interface is leave it on none we're not using the mouse or keyboard and then select your com port and line six now here also i noticed this won't show this ain't going to show like you see on com five i've got uh, an arduino mega plugged in it'll just show a com port that wasn't there before if there's nothing in it'll just be you'll see you know nothing in here but if you plug it in you'll see a com port pop up all of a sudden that wasn't there and that's usually it okay so once that's done, then we can go ahead and verify. You know, we can go ahead and compile it and see what's going on with it. So you can see it's compiling the sketch. And yeah, I messed around. This will build options change. It's rebuilding everything, so it's going to take it just a little bit longer. And it's done, and it tells you right here how much everything's using. You can see you got a lot more memory left over, and a lot more. You know, say compared to an Uno. Uh, this thing's got uh, what a megabyte of flash or whatever uh, quite a bit for one of these little small boards and then we can go ahead and if you just look right here see on the uh, that's like a, again that's our built-in LED right there uh, the same as like on Uno or a Mega or something the pin 13 would be the same there and then if we go up here and let's upload the sketch and actually push it into the program it in here we should see that LED start flashing here in just a second. It's programming, and there she goes. And that's just a, you know, this is just a basic introduction to that. Now you, you know, a lot of stuff ain't going to work. You can go in and, um, you know, say we, we're used to sticking in, say, an LCD display or an SD card reader or a Bluetooth module. That you're used to plugging into your Arduino Uno or something, and you go up here and you say include library, blah blah blah. It's not going to work, uh, most likely. I mean, there is a chance if somebody's updated and added something, you know, uh, you know, it could work. But most of them, you know, are not going to work. They're designed and they're looking for an Arduino. They're looking for an Atmel chip. You know, most of them. Uh, so that ain't going to work. But you can go in and it's even got a built-in here this is a built-in button that you can you know a lot of you know or well i don't know of any uno boards really that come out uh, or uh, arduino boards that come out with the button on the board to play with too you know if you're just experimenting and seeing how it works or whatever you got to usually go in and add your own button external button but you got that button and you got the, you know this is something to and this here's a reset button but something to go in and experiment with and play around with but this is shows you that it can be done I've wrote a couple of little things and I've got it to do a couple of other little things so this is something to start with so I thought that might be help somebody who wants to get one of these little boards you can get them pretty cheap um, and they got a little more horsepower than Uno's and it's kind of made up like an Uno you got uh, 
more pins here to play with more things because the chips different you know with an arm chip and so that's something different I did do a test where I had it count a simple test where I had the program set up to count to 10 million and all it does is a simple very simple program it would it would grab go ahead and grab system time start the time and store that and then it would count to 10 million it would all it would do is have a variable would start with zero and it would you know plus 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 and you just go round and round and round until it hit 10 million and if it 10 million you know if variable is greater to or equal to 10 million then it would grab the time again and do a subtraction and this board here took seven seconds or seven point something seconds where uh, uh, Uno using a you know 328 chip took it 29 point something seconds so there's definitely a difference there so anyway I hope uh, you enjoy this it helps somebody out and if you have any questions you can always leave in the comments below or email me if you like it hit the like button and subscribe for more videos and again, this is Michael, KE4EST, 73 everybody.